Well, <clears throat> hello everybody. Uh, I'm over here at the park. Uh, I want to test uh, something that I did for my QX350. Uh, I bought the 350 because I wanted to do FPV with it. <coughs> but the uh, problem that I have is that every time I put my FPV transmitter on it and power it up, it make me lose GPS lock and uh, so I wasn't able to fly it FPV unless I wanted to fly it without GPS lock which means I had no return to home or anything like that and I didn't feel comfortable doing that so I just quit trying to do FPV then I got online and some of the forums found that guys are doing all kinds of different things so as you can see, I've made a copper box that basically holds my FPV transmitter and cables and, and uh, my FPV camera is right on the front there. So basically, I've got a box, I made it out of uh, I can't remember what Astra said it was. It's like corrugated plastic, so it looks like cardboard. And uh, anyway, I made this box for it, mounted it onto a spare gimbal mount that I have. And so <clears throat> it's all uh, pretty much ready to go. Uh, this is the material I made it out of. As you can see, it's like corrugated, like a uh, like cardboard would be. And then I just cut channels in it so that I can fold it over like that and make a box out of it. Came out pretty good. And then I coated everything with uh, copper tape because uh, copper tape is supposed to keep uh, all it out. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay my camera down I'm back here maybe see the quad and I'm going to plug in my FPV transmitter and we're going to watch the light and I still have GPS lock and my FPV transmitter you can see the light in there get it number nine it's on channel 9, and it's on, and I still have GPS. So now the test is going to be to actually get it up in the air, and maybe fly it around a little bit, to see if I lose GPS lock. But I've got it solid right now, so we're going to take it out here into some open ground and we're going to run some tests still have GPS lock that's a good thing still have GPS lock Kind of weird looking with that copper box on there. It's kind of a, I think a good little idea. A little copper box pod that I just take off of this and put on something else if I want to. Still got GPS lock, which is good. Still got a lock. It's kind of windy out here today. Get back up here so that it can come down and land with the return to home switch. So 
I'm going to return to home now. And still have GPS lock. I think I may have gotten the uh, RF interference issue taken care of off the uh, off the uh, FPV transmitter. Because before, man, I barely put that thing on there. I put it on. I had it just velcroed onto the bottom of the quad. And that sucker, the second I turned it on, that GPS would, would just lose its lock and it would not get it back unless I unplugged the FPV transmitter. And then it'd get the GPS lock again. And then if I took the uh, transmitter and powered it up, I'd lose GPS again. So, anyway. You know, that's pretty neat. What is that, a drone? No, nah, they call it a quadcopter. How much did it hit you for, man? About how yeah. much does it run you? That thing with the camera and stuff on it is probably about 500 and then about three on the radio, probably. Yeah, the radio so, on it too? Yeah, this. Oh, Transmitter okay. to control it. What kind of sh hobby shop do you get that from? Uh, they carry them right here locally. You can get them at uh, Nice Twice Hobbies, Hobby Town. They call it nice twice hobby? Nice twice, yeah. I'm from California. I've never seen that. Yeah, they got them out in Cali too. Wow. Now that's pretty damn cool right there. What the hell is that thing on your head right there? That's what I was Camera. Doing. A camera, so you're <laughs> yeah. just filming it. So I can record what oh, what I'm doing. Great, yeah. That's nice man, you have a good day. Hey you too, bro. Hey. Looks like a drone. Yeah. Well, I've not had the GPS cut out one time. One time it hasn't cut out, so I think I definitely got this issue fixed. Awesome. As you can see, I still got my GPS green light. My FPV gear is still powered on, so I think I might have it resolved. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully uh, some other people got the 350QX and having issues they can do something that's kind of the same. So take care. Have a good one.